up guys? We are back and better than ever. Got some new lights, some soft boxes, got some photos, which I am so excited to show you. Just need to get a couple more picture frames and hang them up. Then I'm gonna make a whole video about it, so be ready for that. Got my coffee. <sighs> Don't got any more coffee. And we got this amazing quilt. All right, so for you guys today, I got the Enlightened Equipment Enigma. Uh, this lasted me for just about half of my through hike this year of the Appalachian Trail. Um, I started with a 15 degree quilt, but once it got warmer out, I switched to this. This is a 40 degree quilt. I also kept a 15 degree thermal light um, or thermal reactor, not really sure, I'll put that up here. Uh, sleeping bag liner, which is super awesome. I highly recommend you get it. No matter what sleep system you're getting or using, get it. It feels so nice. It feels like sheets, honestly, but that's not what this video is about. This is about my quilt that I love, um, and I'm just gonna go over, I'm not gonna go over too much of the details about the quilt. Uh, there's plenty of other videos out there. I just want to talk about my own personal experience. But, all right, before I open this up, I just want to show you guys just how much effort this company puts into their customers. Um, so this actually has directions on the packaging itself, or not the packaging, but the, I guess the cover or sack that you can carry the quilt in. Um, it's usually good to store this in this bag, not compressed, because if you compress it and keep it all compressed for months and months at a time when you're not using it, it's just not that good for the down, and uh, it just it takes a long time to puff out uh, with my previous quilt. But when I got it, it was like squished down like this for shipping, and it had been like that clearly for several months, and it took me three and a half weeks to get the down to fully expand, and it just, it, it, it's still not that great to be honest. But this came fully expanded, just like this, had never actually been fully compressed, so plenty of life in this quilt. But uh, they actually have directions on the back of this because I totally got sidetracked and didn't say what this was. Uh, it tells you exactly how to clean it, uh, which I still haven't done yet. I actually haven't needed to. Uh, this actually doesn't smell. Uh, I, this, a through hiker used this. I use this. And it doesn't smell. So that should say something. Or maybe it just says something about me. I don't know. But anyways, this thing is so nice and so comfortable. My only regret with this is not getting a slightly longer version. Um, this might actually, now that I think about it, this might actually be the longest that it can go. That is probably the only drawback about this is that I'm tall and uh, when I, it doesn't, when I have the bottom closed up, it doesn't quite go above my head, which didn't end up being a big deal because I have my Thermalite sleeping bag liner. Um, and obviously I made it the whole way and I still love this. This is my favorite quilt ever. I'm gonna keep this forever and ever and ever. As long as I don't rip it. Um, the stitching on this is really good. Uh, on my first quilt that I started with, I got several holes and down was just constantly leaking out of it. You're always gonna get some amount of leakage no matter what quilt or sleeping bag you have. It's just gonna happen, especially when it comes to like ultralight stuff because it's very thin. But they did a very good job stitching this together. Uh, I have, I every once in a while I see a little bit come out, but it's never bad. Like I honestly can't find any right now, which is actually a bit surprising. But um, yeah, so this is a 40 degree quilt, and I switched to this right around the time we got to Daleville, Virginia, so about 500 miles in. So actually, uh, I guess I use this for about three fourths of the trail. Um, I. Have, Forgot that I didn't switch in Maryland. I switched a lot of my clothes in Maryland When we came through but this I actually switched pretty much Yeah, Daleville is when I switched out so Yeah, um, a lot of people will say that it gets colder towards the end of the trail and it does a little bit But this still did me perfectly fine even though it got down to like I think a little bit less than 30 degrees it got like high 20s at one point up in Maine and this still did great by me. Um, again, I had the sleeping bag liner, which really helps, but even if I didn't have that, I think I would have been okay with this. In fact, Killer switched to a 40 degree sleeping bag, I'm pretty sure, 
Yeah, she did. She switched to a 40 degree sleeping bag and did not have a sleeping bag liner and she was perfectly fine, even up in Maine when it got into the 20s at some points. So, but yeah. Honestly, I'm not scripting any of this. I just wanted to kind of throw the camera on and give some of my own experiences and my opinion on this. Um, again, if you want to get super specific and detailed, this is about as much as I'm going to show you right here. Um, they are fully customizable. You can do whatever the heck you want. You can choose 850 fill, 950 fill. If you don't know what that means, Google it. Honestly, I couldn't even explain it as well as Google would. So any individual details, I just go ahead and hop on Google and look it up. Uh, not to say that to be mean or anything, but you know, that's what it's there for, partially. And um, yeah, so when I first ordered this quilt, uh, and before I say this, uh, this is not anything against the company. They did an absolute wonderful job with the situation. It wasn't their fault. It was the USPS's fault. But when I first ordered this quilt, there was a wait of about three months to get this. So I planned ahead and I ordered the quilt over six months before I started my hike. And they kept me up to date with the status of my quilt the entire time, which was great. And it actually was shipped from them the exact day that they originally told me that it was going to be. So they, they really know their stuff and they know exactly how long it's gonna take them to build a quilt. And in the last couple of years, especially during COVID and all that, They've been really busy. All the college gear companies have been really, really busy and way overwhelmed and probably a little bit understaffed. So it's gonna take some time to get gear from them. Um, I did get this custom made. If I had gotten a uh, pre-made one, which usually costs the same, maybe even a little bit cheaper, it would have been ready to ship. But at that moment, they didn't have the exact specifications that I wanted, so I didn't do that. But if you ever need a quilt fast that's the way to go get one that's pre-made uh, if you really need it quick and you're okay with giving up some customizations on it like color or the exact temperature or anything like that or the length or width then try that um, they, they do a very good job of shipping when they say they're going to although my I still didn't get my quilt until about a week before I started my hike so it did take me six months to get the quilt. Again, not the company's fault. As soon as it left from their facility, USPS just said that it was in transit for three months. And during this whole time, I couldn't get in contact with USPS because, you know, there is no customer service when it comes to it. Uh, you can say that there is. I'm sure I'm gonna get comments saying, well, if you do this or if you uh, apply for some thing, I don't even remember. This was so long ago, but I went through all the steps that I was told to do and nothing worked, but I was in contact with the customer support of Enlightened Equipment and they were there for me the whole time. They responded immediately and they basically were ready to make me another quilt in front and cut the line in front of everyone and make me another quilt and send it to me, overnight it to me through a different thing, I think FedEx, and which also kind of scared me. but, <laughs> but yeah, so they were there the whole time, and literally the day before uh, they were going to just say screw it and make me one, another one, it showed up in my door, and USPS didn't even tell me. Like, they actually told me that they ended up delivering it to the wrong address, so I told them, like, yeah, go ahead and just make the other quilt, I guess. And then it showed up in my house, so it all worked out, luckily, but uh, yeah, hopefully that's not a problem anymore. I'm sure, you know, there's always gonna be shipping issues and stuff. But little, you know, little story time, I guess, for you guys. Doesn't really have to do with my opinion on the quilt. Like I said, great company, I love them. Fully support them. If you ever see me driving on the road, I got a big old light and equipment sticker on the back of my car. So, that just tells you that I support them. Yeah, this thing is nice and big. So cozy. And it's got the little straps on it, so you could actually leave the foot box open and still attach it to your sleeping pad. Um, yeah, uh, wow, this is actually like, I'm actually a little too hot in this right now, but it's also like 70 degrees in my house, so. Okay, that's um pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else. No, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this is definitely the kind of quilt or the quilt that I would take with me on any future through hike that you know the temperature allows. Um, one little thing I guess I did miss out on is it actually does have a zipper on it. The one that I got has a zipper on it so I can zip up the foot box and close it. 
and then pull the ties at the end. Originally, I thought that maybe some air would still get in at the bottom, especially since I have really bad circulation in my hands and feet. Uh, I did wear down socks the entire time. I never noticed anything. I actually never had any problems with air getting in. Uh, so if you're worried about that, don't be. Um, this, this is built very, very well. Um, I take very good care of my gear, but I think that even if I didn't take that great care of my gear, this thing is pretty darn durable and it, it, it still would have lasted me the entire through hike and more. And it's going to last me a very long time because when I like gear this much, I take care of it. So, all right, that is it for the video today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it um, and be ready for many more. So, yeah, bye. Uh, so, uh, I've really been putting a lot more thought into what kind of content I want to be making. Um, it's perfectly fun, you know, making these videos, the gear reviews and stuff, especially when I can just sit down and ramble on and talk and talk and talk. I know it's not the most entertaining to watch or I, I'm, I'm hoping you can learn something from my videos. Uh, sometimes I don't really feel like I'm teaching much. So I'm really, I, my goal is to teach and get you guys to not just enjoy the outdoors. The only way you're gonna enjoy the outdoors yourself is if you go out and do it. But just to, give you guys a little more motivation to do some research and get ready for your hike uh, or trip or just go outside for a day hike. Um, but yeah, for right now, my content's gonna be all over the place from podcasts, which by the way, I'm not posting my podcasts on YouTube anymore. Uh, anymore, I've only made two. But I'm posting them on Spotify, so I'm gonna link that down in the description as well. Um, so please go check that out. Both of them have been amazing so far and I'm getting ready to make a lot more. So that's gonna take up a lot of my time, but I would like to get to the point where I'm posting two times a week, once on Mondays and once on Thursdays. For right now, it's gonna be Mondays for the most part. Um, but that is the goal at least, especially, you know, it's New Year's, so everyone's gotta have their goals that they gotta crush for the next year. So I'm really, really focusing on not just this, but all social media. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun, it's motivating, it makes me feel good. And yeah, just wanted to throw that on top. Okay, I gotta get drinking because I'm eating like 4,000 calories a day. So, see ya.